Hill Gypsy Wagon camper trailer mounted as a load on a trailer so it can easily be pulled off the trailer. Also, it does not have to follow the same DMV restrictions for towing it in terms of light and reflectors and such. It has a lot of hand done detailing, including the traditional chamfers and routering of the styles. There is a small window that will go to the bottom bunk. There is a large bay window that will go to the top bunk. On the top is a tongue and groove roofing. And over the top of that, though there's still a couple details that need to be finished on the exterior, is a epoxied fiberglass cloth roof that just to be extra careful has an additional layer of a waterproofed paint on top of it. More. 1898 Old English Antique, fiberglass windows, TNG roofing, blue lamb arches, custom done with mahogany tops, mortise and tenon joints in the upper arches, which as I am five foot nine and a little bit, uh, if I'm on Tiptoes, I can touch the bottom of the arches that are in the Molly Croft, which contains 10 windows. There is one window that has not been completed, though all the fastenings are still up and mounted for it. All the pieces for it are present. The others have a temporary blocking in place. This would eventually be finished with a quarter round that would go in and complete those. The ones on the ends open off of a magnet catch system that holds them shut. 10 molly windows in all. Traditional space would be for a bench. There are some watermarks on the walls from a one-time oops of a tarp blowing off. Uh, they were dried immediately with a towel and we've had no issues with leakage since that time, but the underlying walls do still have the marks from that incident. The molly crop makes a little bit of a pocket up on top that goes back about mm, 12 inches to the very back custom stained glass piece that sits over the bay. Basically a full-size bunk on top and a full-size bunk on bottom. We mounted this to be a temporary kitchen unit. It is not mounted in solidly, but it certainly won't move while driving either small cabinet and or open space underneath of the other unit that has been used as a pantry, a second antique unit there that used to be a sewing cabinet. Also just a beautiful, beautiful wood, very nice finish piece, has some pegs, has adjustable, four adjustable shelves on the inside, and has drawer units, a couple of which have the slide boxes inside three additional adjustable shelves in the upper cabinet. All of them have the latches for travel to keep the doors shut.